teachings, you're following his ways, you're following his beliefs, you're following this man, Jesus Christ, that showed us the way, the truth and the life. I think one of the other aspects of being a follower of Christ is uh, there has to be some place of denying myself. I am, I'm letting go of my will, I'm surrendering my life to follow this man that I believe is more worthy than anything else in this world. I think in, in modern day Christianity, we got it wrong, you know. Jesus had this saying that he had this pickup line and Jesus pickup line was come and follow me. And that's actually in Matthew 4 verse 19. Jesus talking to his disciples, he says, come and follow me and I will make you fishers of men. I think the modern day Christian church's pickup line is come to church and we'll meet your needs. And I believe that the modern day Christianity, the, 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 the roles have reversed. It's no longer am I following Christ, it's more like Christ, are you following me? And that's why I believe that Christianity has gone so horribly wrong is because there's not a denying of ourselves, laying down ourselves for something that is more worth anything else in this world, where He is the most worth thing in my life. And I go, yes, I choose to lay down my life and follow you. Um, there's a specific word in, in Matthew 4 that Jesus says, I will make you. Wow. And I believe to be a true disciple of Jesus Christ, there must be the making process. And if that, that making word is that molding, that shaping, that let's put you in the oven, let's, let's, let's design you, let's redesign you according to your original nature. But the word make is the same word in Genesis 12 where, where believers have made their stand on for thousands of years. You know, that's our first promise to Abraham in Genesis 12 where God says, you know, leave your country. And uh, it goes something like this. In, in Genesis 12, the Bible says, and he's speaking to Abraham and he says, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and I'll make you famous. Well, we love that. God, you're going you're gonna to bless me. You know, when we hear the word bless, we hear ka-ching. <laughs> but he's actually saying, I will bless you and I'll make your name famous. I will, I will bless those who bless you and you will be a blessing. Um, when we hear that scripture, we kind of just hear the things that God's going to do for us. I will bless you. I will give you stuff. But God never says, I'm going to give you stuff. God says, I'm going to make you to be a blessing. And what that means is that you, your character, your nature, the development inside of you, you are going to be a blessing to others. So one of the trademarks of a disciple is, is that disciples are blessings to other people. Wow. I think that's something we need to get a grasp on.